Hello everyone, my name is Zetsus, but everyone calls me Sweden, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Unity Fang and Rumpa trial. Uh, this is most likely going to be a multi-part series, because this does tend to take a bit of time to make, but for the moment it does not require much coding experience, if not any at all, because I will be showing you step by step what to write and how to code. This is for complete beginners. To give you an example of the kind of things that we'll be creating, this should end up being our final product. Something close to this. Now this is from the Fang and Rumpa Lunar Hope, uh, and I did this for them. Uh, this is just an example. It should look something like that, something clean and fluid. Now, in order to make this, we're going to need a couple of different things, one being Unity and the other being Microsoft Visual Studio uh, that we'll be coding in. Uh, for Microsoft Visual Studio and Unity, I will be leaving download links in the description below. Uh, for Visual Studio, uh, I use Visual Studio Community 2019, so it would be this. Uh, if you have uh, Mac, uh, I don't use Visual Studio Code, but I don't think it'll be that different. But for simplicity's sake, uh, Visual Studio 2019 is uh, what I'd suggest. Um, and when you download it, it's going to end up looking somewhat like this, the installer. Uh, I'm just going to give you an example. When I go to Modify, uh, it'll show you the different things that you can download. Uh, just remember that when you're downloading this, you can get, you know, all this other cool stuff for if you want to do, you know, game development C++ if you're a programmer at all. Um, most of this stuff is just optional, but the only thing you'll be looking for is uh, this, the game development with Unity. Make sure that is checked and you can click modify or install. Um, and that will uh, help you with, um, that, that will help you with Visual Studio downloaded. Uh, that's that. Next, what you're going to want to do is download Unity Hub as well as Unity. When you download Unity Hub, uh, you're going to get something uh, much like this when it's finished downloading. Uh, this download link will be in the description below for you to download. Uh, and when you go over to installs, you will be downloading your Unity version. You can use the latest. It shouldn't matter. I'm, I use the following uh, Unity versions for the fangins that I work on. Uh, but I don't think it'll matter when you download this stuff. Uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019 will be on there. Uh, if you have already done, you know, if you've downloaded Visual Studio, the installer already, then you do not have to uh, ch check this off at all. Uh, you should be good, I believe, if, even if you do uh, check this off and, you know, you go next, um, that it will just, you know, pull up the, the this installer anyway, so uh, it should be fine. Uh, and that's, uh, that's for Unity. The last thing we're going to need, uh, it will also be in this, the description, uh, is uh, DR Editor. Uh, DR Editor is a Unity tool that Happy30, as well as uh, a bunch of very talented programmers, myself included, uh, have been working on uh, to make creating Fang and Rompas uh, as a community very easier. Uh, it has a lot of tools and things that I'll be showing that uh, you know make our life easier so we don't have to do a lot of com uh, complex things. Uh, and so, yeah, that will be in the description below. And if you're wondering uh, what kind of like real computer you kind of need for this, uh, the computer that I've been using to make fangens in this, um, it has like an Intel iCore uh, i5 or something, uh, as uh, Intel UHD Graphics 620. I don't really know how good this stuff is, but I know that it's not like it's not like top of the line. You don't have to have a great computer to uh, create stuff like this, um, so, but this isn't for every computer. I know that Unity talks about uh, what specs to have on its site. Yeah, system requirements, stuff like that. Um, it'll all be on there, uh, and so I think we are ready to go, except for one last thing. Um, for this, uh, I've been given um, 
UI and sprites to use uh, for this kind of tutorial courtesy of Danganronpa Unite, uh, that fangen, that fangen's Discord will be linked in the description below. Um, and so these, um, uh, these sprites were wonderfully given to me uh, so that I could use them. So with everything out of the way, uh, we then are going to create our new Unity project for this. So I'm going to click New. And here, uh, it doesn't matter 2D or 3D um, for what you put. Just make sure it's you know either one of these. Uh, I'm going to go with 3D. And uh, for my project name, I'm going to call it Danganronpa Unite. or uh, this fangen, uh, and then uh, for the lo location, it's just wherever on your computer that you can put it. I put all just mine just straight up there, uh, and click Create. And I'm going to cut to when Unity will load up everything. All right, so when Unity loads up, your new project should look something like this. Uh, I believe if you're in uh, 2020, it may look uh, rather dark, uh, but this is our current scene, uh, but we won't really be using this specific scene. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're now going to import all of our assets uh, that we have, first one being DR editor. Uh, into our assets folder. I'm just clicking and uh, dragging and dropping it into uh, Unity. Uh, and it seems to be taking a while. Uh, this isn't the best computer, so I'm just going to cut to when it loads everything. All right, and my DR editor has imported in to my project window. Uh, this is the project window. This is where we'll be uh, importing and managing all of our assets that we'll be using to create, you know, parts of the game. Uh, and so next, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get my 16 student sprites and my UI assets, um, and I'm going to import them into my uh, assets folder in my project window. Uh, and so for this, uh, the stuff that you guys will need to create for yourselves are the 16 uh, student sprites uh, as well as uh, UI, um, you know, for all the different characters as well as text. Um, but other than that, uh, I believe that's all the assets we'll need. I do know that there are some optional things uh, for this, is music to play in the background and uh, a sound effect to play after reading dialogue or uh, a custom font that you'll want for the text. That stuff is like optional, but this stuff will probably be in another video, I think. Uh, I just want to get the main stuff out of the way. Um, but this will be, uh, all of the assets we'll be importing for now. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is look into our student folder here real quick. You can see the, uh, our character sprites look quite messed up. So if you click on one, hold shift, and then click on, you know, the bottom, uh, it will highlight all of them. Uh, we want these all these character sprites to be transparent, uh, and so in order to do that, select them as I as I did. Uh, shift shift click uh, click this. Here I'll do it again. Uh, select the first one. Shift hold shift and then click, and you will select all of them. Uh, over here in the inspector window, uh, there should be something that says alpha is transparency. You're going to want to check that box and then click apply. And so what this does is, uh, for those who aren't familiar, the alpha channel is uh, in a sprite. It's like RGBA, uh, where the alpha is, well, the transparency of uh, a object or uh, drawing, something like that. Um, so now you can see that all of our sprites are uh, transparent. We now, they now have their transparent backgrounds. And as well as this for the UI, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Alpha is transparency. I'm going to apply. And this will take care of all of our assets um, uh, that we've imported. 
Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to set up our folders a bit differently uh, in the following. We are going to have, uh, if you right click the project window and hover, hover over create, we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it dialogues. That's one folder. Uh, and then we're going to make another folder called scripts. And we're going to make a couple more folders, uh, at least uh, here. Uh, our last one being called resources. All right. And so the reason why we need these three, um, two of these is because uh, they are going to be interacting with DR Editor, the tool that we're going to be using. Uh, and the third one. Uh, is just scripts so that you can manage all of your coding scripts that you'll eventually be doing. Um, but that's more of probably like the last part. So now that we have these three folders, we're going to go into resources. We're going to create more folders. One being called uh, DR Editor. And, uh, you know, obviously feel free to pause the video at any point in time. Uh, if you need it. Uh, and then another folder called characters. All right, well, we're not done yet. Uh, we have two more folders to make. Uh, inside of the DR editor, inside resource, we are inside resources and then DR editor. We're going to create two more folders, one called camera capital A and M, as well as another folder, camera VFX. All right. So now we have all of our folders and we should be, oh, no, one last thing. So in here, you can tell if I pull over my other Unity uh, scene here. Uh, you can see this uh, base plate. I think I mentioned earlier that uh, this scene uh, is what we'll be using as a base plate. Uh, and how we obtain this is actually inside of DR Editor. This is a, this is a base scene for uh, us to use and interact with. Um, and I'm just going to show you how we're going to transition over to that. So if my oh inside of your DR editor folder, if you go into I believe sample scenes, trial camera demo, control D, uh, you should be selected on trial camera demo one. And I'm going to put that and I'm gonna click and drag it over into my assets folder where my mouse is at uh, and it will have been moved over here uh, and we have a folder called scenes uh, one called sample scene here uh, we don't need that I'm actually gonna double click on this um, and I'm gonna move it into our scenes folder just gonna double click, make sure it's everything's loading, and I'm gonna delete our sample scene that we started out with. So we now have a trial camera demo one. I don't want to call it that, obviously. Uh, so I'm gonna right click, rename. I'm just gonna call it just trial demo, I guess. Uh, and when I click enter, it's gonna say the following open scene has been changed on the disk. Uh, do you want to reload? Whatever you do, click ignore. If you click reload, it will erase the entire scene and everything in it. So don't do that. Just click ignore and it will rename the Unity scene. So now we have our Unity scene. Uh, if you right click and use WASD, you are able to freely move around. 
Uh, and you can see that they have we have base characters here um, to use from, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing each of these sprites uh, into our own fangens, uh, whichever yours is. All right, and so now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be on to the next step where we are going to be setting up uh, each character in our scene or their assets. But because I don't want this to be an hour-long video, I want to take this slowly for beginners. I'm going to end this part here. Part 2 should either already be out or will be soon, uh, where we will be starting and finishing the setup of our Fangen characters. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial so far. I know that I am. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and sub if you enjoyed this, uh, and I'll see you in Part 2. See ya!